is Dr. Sivraman of InnoIndices.com. Hi everyone. Thank you for welcoming me. Now let us do another session of Asian Session Live Market Analysis, a webinar for 30 minutes on 30th of November between 5 and 30 GMT. So it is a simple market tracking technique by using the live market code page. So currently there is a problem with regard to Saxo Bank live market code page. It is not showing the correct low and the high because of the net change is also not showing properly. So I have given here the link of FX trade live market code page where you can see the net change and also the high and the low. So let me pick the camera over that of the live market code page and then explain to you where exactly the current market condition is. Now if you check up with regard to the four majors and two commodity pairs, here you come across only the last traded price but not the bid and the ask as you see in the case of Saxa Bank code page. But you come across the last traded price, the open price and also you find the high and the low and net change. These three are very important for us. The high is 1.5084 in the case of Vero and 1.4961 is the low in the case of Vero and 58.56 which net change positive is seen currently in the case of Vero. Similarly, in the case of GBP, 65.93 is the high and 64.69 is the low and 74 pips positive is the net change. So you find that Euro and GBB are showing net change positive. And in the case of USDN, 29 pips negative is shown. So this is not a contrarian move, it is USD weakening move is shown for the weak beginning. Similarly, in the case of USD CHF, the net change is negative 32 pips. So USD weakening move is shown there. In the case of Australian dollar, 53 pips, or 54 pips positive net change is shown and the high is 0 0.9196 and the low is 0 0.9093. In Canadian dollar is showing a nominal uh, net change and the current net change is 20 pips uh, positive. There is a quick jump it was from negative to that also positive and so Canadian dollar it is still in the negative and I think the color distribution is not proper. So it is nominally down. So you find overall the USD weakening move is shown in the case of the majors under the commodity pairs. So let us review from here how exactly the market could make the moves for month end. 30th November it is a month end so obviously during the month end and the month beginning times, they will be making uh, highly volatile moves in the case of the market. Let me come back to that of the PowerPoint presentation. So here you come across the live market code page, how it has to be used. We have to use the net change and also the high and the low. And related to that of the, the other two sessions, European and US session, high and low, and find out how exactly they made the moves in the market either by cutting the high and going above or cutting the low and going below thereby they bring in immense volatility in the market. Now with regard to the expected market moves slide. Yeah, with regard to the expected market moves for today so during Japanese session there will be a volatile move and towards close of Japanese session they will make a slide then slide during early European session, the slide means about 30 to 50 pips quick move downward or a slow move. It might depend upon the time they started. If they start around 7, then between 7 and 7.30, they could drop very quickly. If they start around 6.30, then they will be a slow drop. And then during the gap time, they will slightly firm up and open lower during the early European session and quickly rise from that of the mid-European session to as close of European session. So you will find now they have made an upward move and subsequently they will make one downward move to as close of Japanese session and also during the early European session then again make a rise to as 
from that of the mid european session and cut the high and then subsequently open high during the start of the european session and drop and then again rise during the close of the european session so very volatile moves will be seen in the case of euro and gbp and also the other currencies you will find that more than contrary move will come across usd strengthening and usd weakening move alternating with each other as the month end move this they specifically move or make in order to hit or in order to uh, just hit the futures market and also the options market they are all generally referred as a derivative markets these markets are derived from that of the spot market hence they are called the derivative market and these derivative markets they wanted to make very big moves and during the expiry of the options and the futures they make massive stop ons and try to close the positions and earn from that of the distressed traders so this is what going to happen during the month end and also they will make tomorrow another very volatile move for the month beginning in order to induce the traders to take strong positions for the new month beginning so that is why you come across during the month end and month beginning trend reversal time the market will invariably make very volatile move either usd weakening or usd strengthening we will not be able to really identify whether it is going to be a really usd strengthening move or usd weakening move we will not be able to identify because from session to session they will use different attributes and make massive up and down moves in the market so the spread between the high and the low can be about 100 to 200 pips and that is how they will make the Uh, upward stop and during one session and the downward stop and during the other session so unless and otherwise you are able to perceive the volatility correctly and try to take positions it is very difficult to earn from such volatile market so for that we need to understand how exactly they tend to move the market now for that we need to have the reference namely the initial low and the high set for the day so the initial low in the case of euro is 1.4961 the high was 1.5070 and currently they are holding above that of the high so that was formed between 230 and 330 gmt and they made a, a breach above that of the high and formed a new high 1.5084 in the case of euro similarly in the case of the low is intact and similarly in the case of gbp the low is intact the high was 1.6589 and then subsequently they formed a new high 6593 then in the case of ch the low and the i are intact and in the case of uh, usd yen 8638 is the low 8703 is the high and currently they cut the low and they formed a new low 8628 so we can understand that they are going to make a quick move in the case of usdn without disturbing the high they might cut the low and make one downward stop and and then subsequently make the rise and there might be a cry of intervention or some verbal interventions etc and they are basically not going to be a really effective because the players know that month and they have to earn massive money from that of the traders now you would have seen that euro quickly they made a drop in the case of euro and gbp about 20 30 pips so that is how they hit the trade hit the orders of the traders and subsequently gain the levels and hold so these are all nothing but the pump and dump moves of the market so in the case of australian dollar 0.9093 is the low and 0.9189 is the high and currently the market level is 0.9168 and they formed the high above that of the high 9189 they formed a new high 9196 and subsequently they are making the dip so here when they come closer to that of the high or closer to that of the low we can think of taking positions don't try to take when the market is in the middle level when they make a quick downward stop and try to take a buy when they quick 
when they make a quick upward stop and, and stop cutting the high for more than 30 minutes, take a sell position. And similarly, when they drop and cut the low and stay below the low for 30 minutes without cutting the new low, then try to take a buy position. Only then you will be able to safely make money from that of such volatile market. Now you see that quickly they gained the levels in the case of Euro and GBP about 30 pips. So this is how they will just gain the levels and offload their positions and again gain the levels and offload the positions. This sort of moves they do in order to induce the traders to keep uh, the improved buy orders at every time and they are the sellers. But higher level they are the sellers. When the market drops then the traders become emotional and try to sell their holdings, the buy holdings or they try to take a fresh sell positions and they when the new buy orders are not coming below that of the low immediately the players rise it again and try to hit the stops of such traders. So it is wise to do the trade when the high has been cut and try to take a sell position above the high or when the low has been cut and try to take a buy position below that of the low when the new low has not been cut for more than 30 minutes within the session. So that is very important because the scenario gets changed from session to session and we need to understand for that I have given the focused algorithm that is Japanese session volatile moves then finally slide then slide during early European session at that time you can take a buy position and try to quickly uh, then rise during the late European session and you can book profit then during the US session when they make a drop again you can buy or when they rise you can take a sell then quickly book profit during the drop and then again try to take a buy and try to close up during the quick rise. So you have to view the volatility of the market as the trading opportunity rather than becoming afraid of the market conditions. So this is very very vital for you to perceive the market with the right uh, approach. So let me just minimize the PowerPoint presentation and take up the questions which are asked and I'll focus the camera on the part of the live market sports page. Okay, familiar. Market will be volatile and gaining levels. These two days in order to let the players set all the high levels. Yes. See, the highs and the lows are initially set in the market. First of all, in order to create the uncertainty for the traders. And subsequently, when the traders take the position in a hurry without waiting for the quick moves, then they will try to hit the stops of the traders. If the traders think that okay the high is set then let me take a sell position and try to uh, just watch then they may drop and show about 10-20 pips profit. If they fail to book profit then they will try to hit their stops when they keep it. But the upside will be limited here but because of the quick moves the uncertainties will be very very wide and you need to trade carefully and it shows from the past week moves that the players wanted to mainly gain levels in order to attract margin calls for those who have been trading without the stock or without the hedging and invariably if you check with many of the trading platform providers you will be knowing that nearly about 20 to 25 percent of the accounts would have been wiped out because of the margin call because they failed to use the stop or the hedging or any basic trading strategy and also invariably if more positions are taken then with a quick succession of about 20 pips 30 pips and things like that then when they make a massive move of about 100 to 150 pips or 200 pips then invariably it will attract margin call or the equity will erode substantially. So if you want to really sustain in the market and earn from that other market the most important thing is money management. What is money management? Money management is nothing but taking positions 
envisaging there could be a margin call, there could be a stop punt, so that you try to take very less position to start with. So take only about 1% of your equity using that money for taking positions, so that the rest of the 99% of your money will be able to hold your position whatever way they move the market and try to keep some limit instead of trying to close the position during the market move. See, because during the market move, if you try to close the position, then invariably what will happen when the move is so quick, you will try to maximize the profit and miss the opportunity. So instead, when the profit is seen, try to grab it. Then look for another trade. If it is near the buy, I mean near the low, then you try to take a buy position. If it is near the high, you try to take a sell position. Always give a gap between the trades, about 30 minutes, so that they will be able to show the intraday trend for you to take positions. So this is the most important thing in money management. The second important thing is how much of risk you will be able to take. Okay, whether you can take a risk of 30 pips. Okay, they are making very frequent stop in, then try to use 30 pips hedging order to limit the risk, so that you will be you will get the time with the hedging, whether to close the position or whether to hold the position to do either way trade. That sort of analysis you will be able to do when you use hedging. In case if you don't have the hedging facility, then you can try to hedge it with your corresponding cross. And in case if you do not want to take any more positions, then what you have to do is try to do averaging trading. The averaging trading in case we do not want to keep stop, then averaging trading you can do averaging every 150 pips or 200 pips in the case of euro. You try to average and try to close both the positions. If I got one or two positions or three positions, try to close all the positions below their average. You will be able to successfully come out. But if you try to book profit in every position, then you need to have a different strategy. So suppose 1.49, you have got a sell position. Then another sell position at 1.5050. Then another position you think that it will be only at 1.53. In case if they show 1.53, fine. And if they drop it, then try to book profit in 1.5150 level or 1.5050 position. And when they show a profit of over 7200 pips, you close it. Then when they rise it again, take another position, 150 pips away from that of the original sell position. So that instead of doing quick averaging, try to spread the risk. Then you will be able to find invariably without stock, you will be able to trade. Because I find from that blog, many of the traders intend to trade without stock. But you can do without stock if you have got adequate equity. That is not mandatory that you need to use a stock. But you have to manage that fund. That is very important. If you are willing to take such such a risk, then try to take one mini lot at a time. Every 150 pips average the mini lot. Then you will be able to close it successfully, the positions, rather than trying to take one standard lot and become afraid of the market. Because if you consistently earn from even mini lots, which will be much more than that of the earning what you get it from that of the standard lot. But when you try, when you are able to get good profit using a standard lot, understand you can also lose a good amount of money from the other usable margin. So if the market is giving you a quick profit in one standard lot, it can also grab quickly the money from your one standard lot. So that you should be able to envisage or perceive and accordingly take positions rather than Simply thinking that, okay, I have taken about four or five positions and definitely I will be able to book profit. If you go on assumptions or if you go on the uh, any type of analysis for that matter, unless and otherwise, your trading strategy is very, very wise and very, very prudent and it's very difficult for you to earn it from the other market. And if you check up with many of the trading platform providers, you find that the platform providers are finding that many of the accounts are closed with a margin call and many of the accounts are closed because the traders are not in a position to pump in money. And this sort of condition happens because 
the traders fail to plan before taking positions so you have to necessarily plan before taking positions rather than trying to think of a remedial measure or a crisis management after taking positions so after taking position if you try to use crisis management invariably your emotions will be triggered and you will become really perturbed with that of the market move why these players are making moves against me every time that is what you will be questioning but they are doing their job and they have to earn from the market the platform providers have to earn from their clients only by attracting margin call or giving a slippage and things like that only then they will be able to make money because they are not willing to trade in the market and they want the traders to trade in the market and earn from them so you have to identify the objectives of each and every thing so the platform providers are not willing to risk in the market and they want to earn from the clients the players can earn only from that of the traders not only the small traders even the big traders and if they want to earn from that of the traders obviously they have to continuously create uncertainty in the market and that is what you come across the market is showing continuously uncertainties and sometimes the market might appear like it is following technical sometimes it will appear it is following fundamentals or sometimes it is following the news or the rumor so which one it is going to follow in the given another 30 minutes time frame you need to understand and it is extremely difficult to identify whether they are going to make a move for a breaking news or they are going to make a move in relation to that of the data release even if they try to move the market in relation to the data they can give any sort of move in the market they can simply say that a risk aversion move or they can simply say it is usd gaining move or usd weakening move and risk appetite move so they can use all four possible technicalities or the wording as a result they can bring in continuous surprise to that of the trade so this we need to understand before taking positions in a market okay then al okay eric has got a question what is your current view on gold the gold is making uh, massive moves in a market basically other day it has made the drop from one 1195 to 1136 and subsequently made the rise and again it is coming to that of the high and it is they have started making pump and dump so earlier they have been rising it continuously in order to create the fear and also that has created the market sentiment us dollar has to weaken continuously but now they also found out that these are all nothing but the positions and gold nobody can eat the gold they are all positions and it has to be liquidated in the market when the traders were afraid to do the short covering and things like that they would have attracted margin call because of massive moves and now the traders might develop a willingness to buy it during the drop so that they can book about 10 20 dollars profit because the market is highly volatile but during such time and the past history i have seen that gold they normally make one sided moves for a prolonged period and like for the rise they take about one or two months for the drop they take only 2 3 days and you have to be prepared for that and accordingly take positions the best way to handle gold is using hedging so that in case if you use the hedging you can watch which way they are doing the move then quickly cut the hedging and book profit in the original position or cut the original position and quickly book profit in the hedging that way if you try to do it you will be able to really come out with net profit rather than simply averaging the positions every 20 dollars and you know that they are making moves of 20 to 30 dollars sometimes 60 dollars in a single day and so once the drop starts you will come across the drop will be very very massive and then avoid doing buy and sell trades during that time okay i am holding according to your advice no i am not advised anybody to take a sell position at 1.44 somehow it has been uh, projected i don't really understand see i always give the call that 
try to take a sell position near that of the high when the high has not been cut or try to take a buy position when the low has not been cut for more than 30 minutes or if there is an extended drop then wait for 2 hours and take a buy position if there is an extended rise wait for a rise and take take a sell position so these are all the levels are all subjective because every time you will find that every day you will come across the high and the low and i am recommending in the blog and also to the other members only the swing trade strategies and those who specifically ask for position trade i give them the advice with regard to position trade so one need to understand that uh, if you have missed that opportunity accept the loss and in the initial stage and if you are not having an mindset to accept the loss then you need to have a strategy to come out with a net profit so say for example they formed the high 1.5141 last week and if they come closer to that you try to and if they are not breached that level you try to take another sell and try to close both the buy position both the sell positions below their average or close the higher level sell again with a profit and earn every time the profit in intraday swing trades so that the profit becomes more than that of the loss you are going to incur on holding another sell position and try to close it so that you will, your usable margin will not get eroded and you will be able to still sustain in the market rather than simply taking a position and trying to ask people because i can only give advice or i can only do trading strategies but what is the usable margin what is the type of trading platform you are using and how much of time you are spending in trading i will not be able to know that so obviously you are the best judge whether to hold the position or whether to cut loss the position or hedge the position and try to earn other way from the other market these sort of trading decisions are in the hands of the traders okay when do you see euro below 1.4 in the first week of december there is a great chance for euro to drop very quickly before making a massive rise in the month of december so the drop can happen any time in this particular week so they could make the month end and month beginning volatile moves and subsequently they will make a one big drop before making a rise because without a drop if they try to rise the market then the traders will not be participating in the market so they know very well when they make a very quick drop the traders tend to sell okay now the high is over the market is going to correct let me jump into the bus they will try to sell then afterwards they will be able to trap it and they have to give one one level of profit suppose if they take a sell position at 1.49 they should be able to give profit at 1.4850 then only their traders tend to commit more position at 1.4885 or 1.4875 when they make a small rise and take about five lots in order to earn back all the lost money but they will lose further money so this is how they trigger the emotions of the traders and earn from that of the traders so this we need to understand so never over trade or just because the going is good don't commit more positions this is very important and whatever the positions you are holding you try to book profit in the position and then subsequently think of a new trade so for the week will euro weaken and when will usd start to weaken again yeah the first week of december you will come across a false move a weakening of the a weakening of euro and gbp and from second week i am expecting as per the algorithm a quick rise in the case of euro and gbp in case if they are not dropping significantly about 300 pips or 400 pips then the rise will also be limited it is like a bouncing effect so the ball bounces on the floor very forcibly then the bouncing rate will be very high and if it is making a very shallow jump then you will be able to see only it can make a nominal jump then it will be a range bound swing in the market so that sort of quick drop you try to watch and try to close any of the sell positions you have and provided you are able to hold the positions when the platform is charging overnight interest
Okay, Jimbo. Euro appears to be trading at much higher level. Do you think they were that we have now seen the bottom and now we will see USD weakening moves until the end of the year. See, I am expecting the USD weakening move till end of the year. Before that, there will be a quick drop in the case of Euro and GBP. That can only take Euro or GBP to a higher levels. GBP probably to that of 1.71 area and Euro to that of 1.55 area. That is possible. If they are not dropping it, it can Euro can come up to 1.52 or GBP can come up to 1.69 or 70. But not more than that. So if they drop quickly, GBP can go up to 1.76. And similarly, Euro can go up to 1.54 or 55 area when there is a quick drop in the market. Okay, uh, how has CHF parity changed things? Okay, as far as ESB CHF is concerned, nobody wanted to do a sell and buy trade. You know, it's very obvious it is at parity level. And on last week, they showed it below that of the parity, and subsequently, everybody was expecting the intervention, and there was no such thing. And still, they made a rise, and they are hovering around that of the parity level, and so we understand that in the case of USD CHF, downside will be very much limited even though Euro could rise further up. So probably what they will do is they will make a contrarian move, rise USD CHF also along with that of Euro and subsequently when Euro makes next rise, CHF they will try to drop and they will hold around that of the parity for some time and subsequently reverse. And I was expecting the contrarian moves in the case of the denominator currency particular year and time. Still, it is not happening. So, you come across the contrarian move only with regard to USD yen, not with USD CHF and USD CAD. So, the one possibility could be the low volume in such denominator currencies. Probably the traders are not willing to take either way trades in them. Then, if there are not many positions held by the traders, Obviously, there is no need for the players to make big moves in such currency pairs. Do you expect Friday low of 60 to 77 and below could be seen in this week? Yes, it is very likely in this week and try to make use of it. Okay. Do you see N cross is dropping as false Monday move before rising? Yeah, as far as the end crosses are concerned, they made a massive move on Thursday and Friday and subsequently they reversed it and they are, uh, they made the contrary move on Thursday and Friday in the case of Euro drop and GBB drop and also USD yen drop. And so the contrary move, mainly they had done it in order to have massive stop in the case of yen cross. And after making all the buys, obviously they have to rise. So, okay, uh, balance is coding. What are the best ways to optimize the profit potential once you are in trade near high and low? Yes. So, basically, when you are near high and low, you are taking a position. The position makes profit. First of all, you have to keep stop at entry. <laughs> that is very, very important. <clears throat> if you try to keep stop at entry, then if your position is stopped out, you don't lose anything. That is the first strategy you have to use in order to prevent usable margin erosion because we all come to the market only to earn from that of the market, not to lose or not to become addicted to gambling or something like that, addicted to trading. So, first keep stop at entry when the position makes about 15 to 25 pips profit. Depending upon the usable margin you are using, you can calmly handle it. Then try to keep the limit, the limit near the low if you are taking a sell position or a buy position, limit near the high. Then when they come closer to that, see how exactly they are handling it. When they are trying to breathe, then you can move that limit away simultaneously. Use the stop as a trailing stop so that the market can hit your trailing stop or the limit. And an optimal trader, keep about 75 pips limit. You will be able to see most of the times definite fill.
child to your blog i think he refers to as your blog is most commented i use your views to compare mine to refine my analysis you can use it as an additional information my analysis and do your own analysis before taking any trading decisions then regarding usd and can we expect another drop to 85 area yeah we could see a drop below 86 today because they have to make the usd weakening move and to start with and subsequently drop euro and gbp for a massive stop and in the case of uh, yen crosses to start with and then subsequently make the rise in the case of yen cross they will not just like that leave the traders to book profit so easily in the market we need to understand that so it is better to trade better to make swing trades during the trend reversal times especially it is a month end trend reversal and also the year end trend reversal. so understand the volatility will become more and more in coming days keep that in mind and trade accordingly they will give several attributes for that but if you refer to that of the earlier attributes then there would have been a totally a different interpretation and a different type of move in the market and they may not use even the risk aversion risk appetite they may use different terminologies and they will try to confuse the traders and try to earn as much as possible by closing the accounts of the traders that's why you come across in forex trading it is a leverage trading so you find invariably there is a great risk of the stop and and also the margin call so in case if you avoid the stop and by avoiding keeping stop then you can get the margin call so these are all the constraints that traders need to face while earning money from the other market but if you are afraid of such constraints then it is difficult to trade but the only way to avoid getting these things is take very less position be happy when you are making about 100 200 dollars on a daily basis still on a 20 days time frame if you trade to trade for 15 days you should be able to get about 1500 to 2000 dollars once you find that the usable margin is improved and your initial capital is withdrawn from that account with the earned money you can speculate so that whatever you earned you will only risk that money rather than risking your initial capital then do you see gbbn again around 13950 yeah there is a potency for gbbn to go to that particular area during that stop at what is the difference between stop and dip um, see stop and is above that of the high they make a rise of about 30 for a pips and come down below that of the high less than 30 minutes that is stop and dip some move means they make one upward stop and within 30 minutes they make one downward stop and they again rise so they make the stop ends in a very short time frame above that of the high and below that of the low then it is referred referred as whips or move what is an isolated stop and so isolated stop and means they will not do in all currency simultaneously stop and say for example they will be holding some of the currency pairs without much moves and make only in two currency pairs moves and in one currency pair they may make an upward stop and say for example euro yen or euro chf then they will make upward stop and in the case of euro and they will drop chf nominally but euro chf they will make a massive downward stop and or an upward stop and that sort of moves they make as an isolated stop and in one currency pair or two currency pairs at a time okay is aud now on the rise what is the high and the low for this particular week Uh, see AUD, they could rise it to about nine to two area, and then subsequently make the drop. I have been telling that the commodity pairs they lead the rally and lag behind, and you know that it is a currency which is less than parity. So obviously the moves are to be restricted. They can make about two hundred fifty pips and things like that on a daily basis. So in a currency like one point five zero in the case of euro, they can make about one hundred fifty pips. case of gbp they can make about 250 pips 
And in the case of Australian dollar, they make about 100 pips nominally. Exceptionally, they make about 200 pips and things like that in order to make a massive stop and on the downside or on the upside when the volume is very, very decimal and then subsequently they bring it to the normalcy. So in the case of Australian dollar, they can go up to about 92 area and then subsequently make the swings there. So here, the most of the volatile moves could be seen in the case of Euro and also GBP. And Yen, sporadically, they will make a downward stop. The other currencies may not participate in these volatile moves very much. Okay, do you expect the high to be broken in Euro and GBP today? Yeah, Euro and GBP, they may cut the high again during the late European session or during the year session. What is the prediction for Euro and GBP for December and Jan? So I, that's what I said that uh, Euro and GBP are expected to make a very quick drop of about 300 to 500 pips in the case of GBP of 500 pips. Then subsequently make a massive rise towards close of the year. But the rise depends upon the drop. If they drop massively, then the rise could be significant. If they don't drop, then it will be holding around the same range till end of the year. I have been using like six indicators now. Looking back to basic, I think that more simple, more effective. Now, reviewing the Learning Center Forex course, the trick is just to understand the imbalance of supply and demand. See. There are two things with regard to supply and demand. One is the genuine supply and demand. The other one is artificial supply and demand. Nobody has spoken about the artificial supply and demand and that also you have to give importance. Yeah, obviously a lot of good information are available in the learning center. Learn it so that you will be able to understand the basics, how to trade in the market. Then subsequently fine tune by reading other blogs and attending to various webinars of the experts, analysts. Then you will be able to develop your own mindset for trading. Instead of asking anybody whether it will reach high or whether it will reach low, you should be able to judge that to the next trade. Do you know it is based on probabilities? Uh, yeah, probabilities are there, but the probability levels vary from time to time. As you said, Euro and GBB are expecting to rise from second week of December. So it is wide, wise to go long from 6 to 2, yes. When they come to 6 to 2 area, watch carefully and try to take uh, very small positions and see whether the going is good, then you try to take one or two mini lots and Try to keep stop at entry and try to maximize the profit if you want to do position trade. What could be the low in the case of Vero in December? See, in the month of December, that's what I said, that it can drop up to 1.48 or 1.47 area. Then we have to see what is how exactly they wanted to make a downward stop. See, these lows and the highs are formed during stoppers. So how much of stop and they are going to do, we need to really understand from time to time. We will not be able to determine. Using the chart and analysis, we can estimate. But still, there is no guarantee that the market need to just respect it. That is why you always come across the analysts say that about 38% uh, retracement or 68% retracement, 100% retracement, etc. But they will not be able to say exactly that it can only do 38% uh, retracement or 38.8% retracement and subsequently reverse. Nobody says that. So depending upon the market move, we have to identify that. Yeah. Uh, see, I will be discussing about the month and the yearly trend reversals. And in every day, I am going to provide the forecast. At that time, I will do it because there is want of time, so I don't want to drag it more. It is already I have taken more time. Okay, so let me go back to that other forecast and display the forecast slide.
So Japanese session, volatile moves and slide or the expected moves, then slide during early European session and quick rise during late European session or expected. Then again a quick drop and a rise are expected with volatile moves during the US session. It is a month in time. The volatility will be very high. So trade with cautions. So you can make a note of the high and the low. If you want, you can take a screen print and subsequently see how exactly they are handling the high and handling the low. Accordingly, take positions and try to use the trading strategy to minimize the loss and maximize the profit. So I take this opportunity to thank everybody who have come here to listen to my discussion. And if you have got any doubt, you can place the questions in the blog. Then I will be willing to answer those questions. And I will again meet you by tomorrow. See you all. Have, wish you happy trading.